This is the cleanest my desk has been in literally years. I live like an animal. I'm just absolutely filthy. So terrible at keeping my stuff clean. That's what I have a fiance for. I never introduce myself. My name's Emily. Hi, what's up? I paint. So I want to talk about sketchbooks because sketchbooks can be kind of tricky for people, even though they totally don't have to be. Artists tend to be perfectionists, and even though sketchbooks aren't meant to be a perfect place, as artists, we want them to look perfect and beautiful and be a magnificent place of masterpieces and that's not what they're meant to be. We end up creating these psychological hurdles for ourselves with sketchbooks. So I want to talk about some tips to have a stress-free sketchbook and grow into being a confident and skilled artist. So let's get into these before I get bored of this video and give up. Tip number one, if you're working with a wet material like acrylics, get a watercolor sketchbook. Or if it's a little too expensive, because sometimes they can be, get a mixed media sketchbook. This is a watercolor sketchbook. This is a mixed media sketchbook. And you can see I've painted a lot in them with acrylics and even watercolors too, and it's been mostly fine. But this uh, watercolor sketchbook, pages bend way less. They're like super flat and awesome. So if you're looking into painting your sketchbook, get a watercolor one or a mixed media one. Watercolor's better, but mixed media is totally great too. I am obsessed with the sketchbook, the Canson XL Mixed Media, highly recommend. And sub tip, tip number one dot A, pay attention to the brands and find one that you like so you can continue to get that one in the future. Because if your sketchbook sucks, it's gonna stop you from creating. So get a nice one that you like. And tip number two, use painter's tape. Ugh. in your sketchbook to create some really pretty clean lines. What you can do is take this, section out a rectangle, push it down nice and flat, and then paint. And then once you remove the tape, you have some really beautiful clean lines that make your sketches look so nice. I have to have done that once in here. No, not once. Oh my God, I'm such a lazy ass. Keep your sketchbook small and portable. I really like this size. This one's a 5.5 by eight. And I think this one's a five by eight. So pretty small. And that way you can take it with you, whether it's like out and about or probably more likely like to the couch with you or in bed. If you have this big one, sometimes it's hard to just like sketch other than just like on a table. But if you have like a little one, you can like crawl into bed and sketch. The light in here is so shit. I look like a gremlin. Number four, biggest tip probably. Don't make your sketchbook perfect. Let it be ugly and messy. It's not for anybody's eyes except your own. This space is for you. I see a bunch of videos and articles about how to make your sketchbook better. Who fucking cares? This is a place for you to create. It does not have to be a place where you make beautiful, amazing things. If things happen to be beautiful and amazing, great. Don't. You don't have to show anybody it if you don't want to. And even if you do, who cares what it looks like at the sketchbook? Bring it down a level, because that gets me heated. And five, adding on to that, experiment in there. Try things that maybe you wouldn't normally do. If you normally do realism, try something that's abstract. If you never work in color, try things in color. Do different mediums and, and themes and just go for whatever, because it's a place for you to find out what you like and to build your skill in. I see people doing videos or articles that say how to make your sketchbook have a style and a cohesive look. Who cares? Who cares? It's for you to try things and experiment. Try different styles and genres and just go for it. Go for it. Number six, I think this one's great and I love doing this. Do studies. Do you have any artists that you really love and want to be like? Try recreating some of their artworks in your sketchbook. There's so much you can learn by doing studies of this. And I know sometimes this makes people uncomfortable because they're worried that they're copying someone's work and it's gonna make that person upset. But if you're just doing a study and you're not putting it out there being like, this is my original concept, it's totally fine. And you can learn so much by recreating a piece by an artist that you really like. Make that and then take pieces you learned from that onto your own artwork. I love doing studies. I think studies are so great. So highly recommend. Number seven, kind of in the experimenting section, try out some color. Throw some color in your sketchbook. If you just draw and like often in pencil, get a couple markers or some colored pencils and maybe just switch that out for your pencil and just work with some more color stuff. Cause I see a lot of artists shying away from color a lot of times. I kind of stick strictly to pencil, especially if you're a younger artist. Branch out a little, get some colored pencils, get some markers and go for it in your sketchbook. It's like a little party for your eyeballs, color is. So get some color going on in there. Um, I've lost count now, shit. I'll put it up there, I don't know. I don't know what numbers I'm on. Give yourself time limits on pages. Sometimes you can get overwhelmed by 
working on a single page forever. See what you can get done in 20 minutes. Say this page, I'm gonna spend 20 minutes on it and I'm gonna fill up what I can. Or this next page, I'm gonna take a long time on it and I'm gonna give it an hour. And then you can always come back to those pages that you had time constraints for. Time limit, 20 minutes, move on to the next thing. Time limit, 20 minutes, move on to the next thing. It's just something that'll get the ball rolling with you using sketchbooks. I think this one's really fun and I do this all the time. Make it your constant companion. Write in notes for things that you need to do for the week. Doodle in it while you're talking on the phone with a friend. Or I like make little journal entries or like whatever you want. Doing a couple math calculations for budgeting or like whatever. Just like use it as a notebook as well. It's kind of fun for it to be like your little companion. I haven't done this, but I think this is really cool when people do this. Make it a mess. Glue in things and tear things up. Try like putting colors together that look ugly and see what happens. Number... I don't know. What am I on? I don't know. Number, so I know sometimes when you have a blank sketchbook, it's really hard to get that first page drawn on. You want it to look really nice or you don't want to blemish this beautiful empty book of potential. So what I sometimes do, I just do anything to get something on the first page. So like I had this brand new sketchbook and I was intimidated to start it. So I slapped on a sticker of an old painting that I've done and just tried to recreate it. Or you can just fill the first page with scribbles. Anything to get something on that first page so that you can get started with filling up that sketchbook is gonna be beneficial for you. Don't let that first page stop you. Get something on there and move past it. And if that's like too much for you, flip through your book to an open page and then just start filling it in there. I know that probably sounds chaotic to some people. Flip to an open page and then just start filling it up in there and then flip to an open page and start filling up in there and it makes it an imperfect thing so maybe you can start filling in page by page. That makes sense. We see people who make these beautiful sketchbooks and like post them on Instagram and every single bit of every page is filled up and it looks so nice and cohesive. If you have like a little scrap of something in the corner of a page and you don't wanna work anymore on the page, move on. Don't get stuck, just keep moving, just keep creating. This is all about momentum. I feel like sketchbooks are about momentum. Moving forward, creating what you can, and building your skill in that way. This is big. Understanding that you can find joy and satisfaction in the creation process as opposed to just the end result. That, that's part of why we love art, right? Is because we're in this flow of making something. Other concerns about life and whatever are like floating away and we're just in this groove of making something. You don't have to be satisfied just that you finished making awesome pieces. You can be satisfied by just creating. Number B, stop buying sketchbooks. You don't need another one. I don't know why humans are so inclined to buy new sketchbooks and notebooks. I think it's just the feeling of potential that you hold in your hands when you have an empty notebook or sketchbook. Stop it. Stop. Finish the one you got and then reward yourself by getting a new one when you finish that other one. You don't need more. Finish the one you have. When I say finish it, I mean finish it. Fill in every page. It doesn't matter if it's full of scribbles or whatever, fill every fucking page of that book. I say that, finish the one you have. But here's an idea. If you're really hung up on this idea that you want your sketchbook to be a place of perfect drawings that you can show people, consider having two sketchbooks. One that you feel like you can show people when you wanna work on things that like are more serious. And then another one for crap for whatever, for garbage, for you to scribble in and tear up and do whatever. That might get you past the hurdle of creating because I think it's great to have a sketchbook where you really try hard on a lot of things, but if it holds you back from creating, that's not good. So if you want that, have a second one and go nuts in that one. Like just like overall, okay, this is like my overall tip. All of these tips can be encompassed kind of in this little ball here. Have fun. Don't make your sketchbook work or stressful. It is for you to enjoy and fill with whatever your little brain wants to fill it with. It's, it's for you, dude. It's for you. Just have fun. Enjoy it. It's not work. Don't make it work. This video turned out way more chaotic than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> I did not plan it phenomenally, but in post, we'll see what happens. If you're interested, I have a sketchbook tour for this guy and I'll put that link in the description. I love this sketchbook. I've got some really cool things in there. I do painting tutorials. If you're interested in how I paint and what I do, I have a bunch of painting tutorials that you might be interested in looking at too. Do you have any other tips for sketchbooks? If you do, leave them in the comments below. If you have any video ideas for me, leave them in the comments below too. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.